hello guys welcome back today we are going to see our the progress on our banana circle remember we we made a banana circle about some time back you can see it in the video about our banana circle so I will see the progress let's go and see and by the way this section here uh, it's like the abandoned section. We, we are not here much of the time, All right? Uh, so we have some other things that I'm gonna briefly talk about. Uh, but the, the main thing is the banana circle. First and foremost, in front of me, we have this very strange combination of uh, papaya and coconut. And I don't know how come how how this happened, but papaya must have come later on. The coconut was there struggling, and now it, the coconut has to struggle even more because of the competition. And this papaya, we did not expect it to grow. If you look here, you know it was chopped here, and then it started growing again. I don't know what happened. So. That is the deal about the two guys there. It is very hot now. Very, very hot. It's about 2, 2.15. 15 past 2 during there. So let's go and see the banana circle. It's somewhere there. Okay. We'll move. Let's go. This is just a banana not banana circle that one there is the banana circle that I'm talking about I will stand on this side because we have better view here all right so this is the banana circle there we have one banana there two three four five and six bananas and then in the middle we have a pit in this pit here during the dry dry season will be pouring water here but not only here we will pour water even there on the bananas okay and uh, we have enough mulching so why do we practice banana circle well, this is uh, the permaculturist they use it if I if I'm not mistaken I, I think I've seen it somewhere there was a guy who was practicing uh, natural farming so he was practicing it and we start we tried it twice it 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 performed very very well so this is advisable in places where you don't have enough water where you have like you know the trees when you when you plant like this it's like it's going to to get the the the, the, the bananas will get it will be feeding under beneath there and in this pit in the middle here, if you want to enhance your plants, these plants surrounding here, you can add manure, you know. We have added organic manure, but we have also added uh, cow dung. And it has been raining dogs, cats and rats. Thankful. We are very grateful that it did. So we know that these bananas will survive. All right, there's no problem anyway right now. But when you have time, if we have time, we're able to do that, we'll come and pour water here. Remember, we are small scale farmers. We don't have, you know, this, a lot of water, you know, and all these possible things. But we are trying our level best to ensure that each and every plant gets attention. So this banana uh, circle, we are going to water it at least now it's December until... Uh, February there by then the roots will have gone very deep and they can survive All right, so the survival for these trees is far much bigger when you have it that way now if you want to make even You want to create more resiliency you can simply surrounding here, you know here around here in each of this banana circle or and the whole area you can plant a uh, creeping uh, plants like uh, cow peas you can plant plant kiwano that is 
African torn melon, anything that is, you know, creeping around, climbing tree. And then when you plant this one, they'll, they'll act, act as a live mulching, All right? That is one way. Another way, if you want to make your plants even more resilient, another way is you do mulch. Mulch is, you take dry material like this one here. Let me go, go. Oh, this is dry material here. You take like that, and then you put them here on this area. Because something like this, this is not good here. When, when you get dry, when you get uh, direct sunlight, it goes down and then it stresses the, the, the banana there, All right? So you need, you know, when you plant like this, you want to give, to, to do all the approaches so that your plant will be as much resilient as possible. And that will make your plant to be more vigorous, more stronger, That which means the chances of survival and thriving well is far bigger. So this is our banana circle. We are very happy, we are very proud of it. It has grown so well so far. Some of the bananas are bigger than the others, but that's not problem. The problem is all of the bananas must survive. Beside this banana circle, we have this. This is not, this is just a forest tree. I don't know what type of forest tree it is, but this plays role also. Now, if you look, it is shedding some it gives some shed, sh some sheds, all right. Another tree that we have around here is Moringa oleifera. When this grows up, it will also give shade because in the morning, the sunshine goes from that direction, come this way, and now it's somewhere there, up there. So this, this one gives shade. And then in the morning, it is that Moringa that is giving the shade. The Moringa is still young, but within, three to six months it, it's going to be bigger. Moringa survive everywhere. So this is some, some approaches that you can do to ensure that your banana circle uh, will thrive and will survive. Is You have good mulch and then you have mulch around it, around each and every uh, banana tree. And then you, you put water, you pour water, cow dung, and uh, uh, residue like that we have dry there, dry, dry carbon material. And then ensure you have tree like on these two sides so that they can get, your, your banana tree can get enough shade to survive. So our banana trees, they will survive. The rate of survival are bigger. We're expecting it to to give uh, some uh, harvest by next year like now so thank you for looking by thank you so much you have if you have any idea just share it <coughs> write down in, in the write it down in the comment section all right thank you for looking by stay calm stay cool stay healthy yeah